So, first things first, the hair is lit. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Today, I have a video that you guys have been asking for. Y'all have been in the comments telling me, please repost, repost, please post a review on this hair. Please update us, let us know if you like the hair or not. And this is my Tanache Virgin Hair Loose Deep Bundles. And I have just been blown away by how many of you actually want me to post this review because my channel is small. So that means... Y'all been watching, and you've been enjoying, and you fucks with me, so you want to see more videos, or you want to buy this hair, and you just want to know if it's lit so that you can spend your coin. Either way, I'm here for it. Keep watching my videos, and I'm going to just get into the review, because I know y'all want to know about this hair, because that's what y'all been asking for. So, let's get on to the video. Boop. So, first things first, the hair is lit. The hair is lit, okay? I don't have any complaints. I really don't. And I be having complaints. If you guys have seen my worst hair on AliExpress video, y'all know I am not afraid to talk about some crusty virgin hair. I'm not afraid. But this hair is not crusty at all. I've been wearing it for weeks now. I made it onto a full wig. So I have the frontal. And the bundles are sewn onto the wig. And I have the wig attached with combs here, here. I didn't put one here. No, I put one here, here, and one in the back, and I have an elastic band, and that's all I have. Keeping this wig on my head, I mean, it's pretty secure. Like, if you yank, it's not going nowhere. So my wig-making skills are getting up there, but that's just a shameless plug because I think I'm going to start selling the wigs that I make because your girl's a little talented. The hair is really good. It's very soft. It's very bouncy. It's flowy. It has life. It gives me life. <laughs> Um, the pattern is really nice. The pattern is super nice. I don't know if you guys can see. This is how the hair air dries. So it has a really different texture to it. You know how it's either deep wave or it's body wave or it's straight. This is like a, it's literally a loose deep wave. And it doesn't look exactly like how loose wave looks because I've had loose wave hair and I feel like it, it's not as defined as this. Like it's not... And I hope this lighting is giving it justice because the hair has really, really pretty curls. It washes well. I've used a bunch of different shampoos and conditioners and each time this hair performs really well. It's super soft. I don't get a bunch of tangling at the nape of the neck like other hair companies who shall not be named. No shade. But yeah, this hair doesn't tangle. It does get snags here and there, like at the back, just from like rubbing against my neck, but they easily come out. Like I can literally get it out right now with my hands. Like I don't have to sit and detangle the whole wig. Like I just get a couple snags in the back and that's because the hair is 20 inches long and it rubs right here all day. It's, it's bound to get a little bit snagged or a little bit tangled back there, but not matted. So, because we don't, we don't like matting. We do not like matting where the hair curls up your neck and looks like this. We, we don't like that. So this hair doesn't do that. Um, so what have I said so far? The hair is really soft. It's bouncy. It washes well. It keeps its curl once you wet it. I have not straightened this hair. Because the curl pattern isn't a deep wave, I'm afraid to straighten it because I don't want to loosen the pattern up and then it turn into something that looks like stringy and I don't want it. Like, I want to be able to wear the hair in its natural state. I don't want to wear it straight. I have other wigs that I could wear straight if I want to have a straight look, but I don't plan on straightening this hair because I don't want to heat damage it. So, if you guys want me to test out a section maybe in the back and see if the curl reverts back, maybe I can get into that and do that for you guys, but I'm really afraid to straighten this hair because... I don't want the curls to not come back. So we're not going to play those games unless y'all want me to for another video. But I'll think about it. Because I spend my real money on these hairs. Hairs. I spend my real money on these bundles. So I have to be like conscious with what I'm doing with them. You know, I don't want to waste my money. <laughs> but I tested out this company and I am not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. 
so yeah um i really would recommend this texture if you're looking for a little bit like beachy kind of look however i'm gonna insert pictures somewhere in this video i don't know if the montage is going to be in the beginning or the end or if i'm going to put the picture here or here i don't know but when this hair is wet it gets really flat like really flat to your head because as you can see it's not like a super tight curl so once this gets wet it gets really flat so if you're thinking about wearing this hair for vacation or being in the water you just have to be conscious that it's not gonna look like this when it's wet and that's something that, if you're looking for the wet, curly hair look, go with a tighter curl. Because when it's wet, it's still going to look curly. When this hair is wet, it looks like body wave. It looks really loose. So, I wasn't really a fan of that look. When my hair is wet, I like it to still look, you know, curly and, and cute. So, it depends on what you're used to. Maybe if I had more bundles of the hair in, I would have liked how it looked better when... It was wet, but like I said, I'll insert a picture so you guys can see what I'm talking about. I just don't like how it looks really flat to my head. I don't know. I just hate that. <laughs> and I don't like how it looks on me. I have a big head, so I need body. Your girl needs body. Okay, but I am very impressed for the price of this hair. You get a lot for your money. It feels like how like Indian hair would feel. And that's saying a lot, because you know how Indian hair be expensive. And like I said, I really would recommend that you guys buy it. Head over to Tanache Hair. I'll have the link down below and order their hair. And if you order it, let me know in the comments down below. And also let Tanache Hair know on Instagram who sent you to their Instagram. Let them know that Beauty by Rick sent you there and that it's me, Queen Ricka, which is my Instagram. I'm who sent you there to buy the hair because... I'm the plug. I'm just letting y'all know that my opinion is mine and only mine. These companies do not reach out to me because my channel is small. So, you know, I'm well on my way. I'm not pressed to get famous on YouTube. I literally come on here to help you guys. Whether it's one person or a million people watching me, as long as I help one person make an informed decision about what they're buying, I'm good with it. I make these videos for fun. It's for ha-has and giggles because y'all know I'm not making no real money off of this shit. So <laughs> don't forget to like this video. Give me a big thumbs up. It helps me out so much because it helps more people like you see my videos. And we need more people to know about this hair because it's bomb. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Let me know what you want to see down below. And I'll see y'all and talk to you later. Bye.